Hello, science enthusiasts. Welcome to today's episode where we explore how human activity shapes our environment. We're FSI Courses, and together, we'll uncover the connections between human actions and our planet. Let's dive in. Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Spivey, joined my dad, Chavis Spivey. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we'll explore human impact on the environment. So, so let's, let's do this. this. Our learning target for today is, I can describe and explain how human activities impact the environment. Our first stop, the human footprint. As the population grows, so does our need for space, food, and resources. Urbanization, deforestation, and agricultural expansion have transformed natural ecosystems. Do you know that in Georgia, land use changes are a major contributor to habitat loss? Let's take a closer look at deforestation. Trees are cleared for farming and urban areas, but this has cascading effects on biodiversity. Animals lose their habitats and ecosystems lose their balance. Quick checks for understanding. Number one, what are the three main human activities that have impacted ecosystems? Number two, how does deforestation impact biodiversity? Pause the video and take two minutes to write your answers. Let's go, geniuses. Next, pollution. A byproduct of industrialization and human negligence. Air pollution caused by burning fossil fuels contributes to climate change. In Georgia, vehicle emissions and industrial activities are significant sources of air pollution. Carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases trap heat in the atmosphere, leading to global warming. And what about water pollution? Contaminants from agricultural runoff and industrial waste harm aquatic ecosystems. Remember the Chattahoochee River? It's a vital resource for Georgia, but also a victim of pollution. Quick checks for understanding. Number one, how does air pollution impact ecosystems in Georgia? Number two, how does water pollution impact aquatic ecosystems? Pause the video and take two minutes to write your responses. You got this brilliant geniuses. Let's talk about climate change. Rising temperatures, shifting weather patterns, and extreme events are all linked to increased greenhouse gas emissions. In Georgia, we're seeing more intense storms and fluctuating rain patterns which impact agriculture and biodiversity. This isn't just a global issue, it's local too. Crops like peaches and pecans are sensitive to climate changes and our coastlines face threats from rising sea levels. Quick checks for understanding. How are parts of Georgia being impacted by climate change? Pause the video and take two minutes to write your answers. Let's go. Now let's focus on solutions. Small actions make a big difference, like planting trees, reducing waste, conserving energy, and supporting clean energy initiatives are all ways to help. In Georgia, programs like the Adopt a Stream initiative empower communities to monitor and protect water quality. As students and future leaders, your choices matter. Advocate for sustainable practices at home, in school, and in your community. Quick checks for understanding. What solutions or actions are we taking to save ecosystems? Pause the video and take two minutes to write your answers. Show us what you got. Every action counts in preserving our environment. Remember, our planet's future is in our hands. Thanks for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more science content. Until next time, stay curious and stay green. And that's our video for today. Now let's test you now to see how proficient you are with describing and explaining how human activities impact our ecosystems by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic devices to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% or higher for proficiency, record the results in your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you better, better keep, keep going, going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan the QR code to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. Peace and have a positive, productive day. This world won't be kind to you. Home. Take me home. 
but it will need you for what's coming. 